Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Howdy, Cougars. We are back with our weekly Wednesday broadcast. I'm Richard, Big Tex Perez. And I'm Zoe Petrie, and today is Wednesday, November 4th. Today's lunch is Uncrustables, veggies, fresh fruit, chips, and milk. Hey, Richard, did anyone send me a Cougar shout-out? Sorry, Zoe. Not yet. But Trinity has a shout-out for Maddie. Hey, Maddie, what's up? I miss seeing you on campus. Remember, Cougars, to get your shout-out right on the broadcast, send your school-appropriate shout-out to Miss Hyenga. Tune in next week for a very special edition of Cougar Shoutouts as we honor our veterans. Thank you, Richard. It will be a special broadcast. I didn't realize how many of our Cougar family have served our country. And now to Robbie for our weather report. Robbie, what's in store for us? Thank you, Zoe. Today we have sunny skies with highs in the low 80s. This weather pattern will hold for another day or two. But this weekend looks like fall has finally arrived because not only are the leaves dropping from the trees, but temperatures are dropping as well. Be prepared for some dramatic temperature shifts with a 20% chance of rain on Friday. Back to you in the studio. Okay, I said it right, but I messed up. Thanks for the great forecast, Robbie. I can't wait for sweater weather and crisp fall days spent sipping hot apple cider. Speaking of sweater weather, aren't senior sweatshirts on sale? That's right, Zoe. Although I'm more of a hot cocoa kind of guy myself, our senior sweatshirts are on sale and the store closes Monday, November 9th at 11.59 p.m. So if you want to order your sweatshirt, do it now. At the time of this broadcast, 17 seniors have purchased their sweatshirts. The link is on our website and in the class of 2021 Google Classroom. While you are ordering your sweatshirt, don't forget to check out our graduation swag. Your cap, gown, and graduation announcements can all be ordered using the link posted in our class of 21 Google Classroom. I hear Mrs. Accurso had her baby and is out on maternity leave. Congratulations, Mr. Accurso. We wish you the best. But Richard, if seniors have questions, how can they get help? Great question, Zoe. Seniors, if you're like me, you probably have lots of questions about college applications and graduation status. Great question, Zoe. Seniors, if you're like me, you probably have lots of questions about college applications and graduation status. There's no need to fear because Ms. Petrie is here. That's right, Richard. Mrs. Accurso is enjoying time at home with her new baby and is expected to return to work in January, 2021. At Upper Lake High School, we are a team. So remember, the word principal contains the word pal. That means I am here for you. Seniors, if you have any questions about college applications or your graduation status, please reach out and I will help you complete these very important tasks. Now back to you in the studio. Thank you for for that update, Mrs. Petrie. Wait, what's this? We're getting some breaking news. This is Channels Television's Breaking News. Cougars, the end of our first quarter progress report is this Friday. Check your Google Classroom in Aries and make sure you are on the right track. As you know, this school year has been a learning experience for us all. And here at Upper Lake, our voices matter which is why we are asking students to take a survey on how we can make next semester even better. As with all feedback, we want to come up with solutions in a polite and respectful manner. So after this broadcast, you have a chance to let your voices be heard when you take the survey in your homeroom class. Speaking of class, here's Robbie with some more academic reminders. Thanks, Zoe. Not only am I going to check my grades, but I am also going to take the survey and let my voice be heard. If you signed up for the Humboldt State virtual field trip, remember it's tomorrow from 10 to 12. Please check in with Ms. Lochner if you have any questions. Mock trial meets tomorrow at 8 a.m. sharp. Art 4 and AP Art will meet on Friday with Ms. Sabaloni during zero period. And now to Mr. Fig, who has some athletic updates. Thanks, Robbie. Hi, Cougars. It's me, Mr. Fig, your athletic director. Athletes, you need to register once a year at ulsports.net and provide proof of health insurance along with your annual sports physical. All physicals and forms must be turned in by December 7th. I'll be attending a athletic director meeting next week, Monday, to work with other schools on what fall sports might look like. Stay hopeful and most importantly, stay safe. Back to you, Zoe and Richard. Wow, I can't believe we're already talking about December. Sometimes it feels like we're still in March. 
I know exactly what you mean, but now the holidays are right around the corner. And while our celebrations and traditions might look different this year, one thing remains the same. Here at Upper Lake, we are proud members of the Cougar family and we all care about each other. Well said, Zoe. This time of year always reminds me to be grateful for the people in my life. Yes, even the teachers. I want to challenge my fellow Cougars to reach out and let each other know how grateful you are to have them in your life. Challenge accepted. Cougars, I'm so grateful to be part of your Upper Lake family. That's all for this week's Wednesday broadcast. Be sure to tune in next week as we honor our veterans. Don't forget to take the student feedback survey. Go Mighty Cougars! Cougars. <laughs> that one